Hello everyone, this is Pico Entertainment and we are back again and here now we have another video for you and we're going to talk about on-screen chemistry and why it's so important within a story. So when we talk about on-screen chemistry, it's the dynamic, the rapport, the overall spark between two characters or the actors playing those characters. Seeing the relationship of two characters play out is almost like a B-plot to the main story. Seeing how the characters interact, how they work together or argue or solve problems, escape tight situations can be every bit as engaging, almost like it's added value to the main film. If the chemistry between two characters is executed right, it can actually overcome any flaws within the movie or story itself. If you connect with the characters and enjoy watching them together, then to an extent, you'll ignore any bad effects or editing or music that's lackluster or any other cast of actors or characters that aren't that great. The chemistry between two main characters within their roles can keep you watching. Now, normally people assume that on-screen chemistry is typified mostly in romantic comedies. And yes, chemistry is essential for that type of movie, no doubt. But I've always found that the greatest genre in terms of on-screen chemistry within movies and entertainment is actually the buddy cop actioner. In this genre, whether it's in movies or television or any other format, you will literally have decades of great partnerships, great duos, some of which have reached truly iconic status, not only within movie entertainment, but also pop culture itself. Many times the relationship between the two characters is even more important than the main story, which normally involves them chasing the criminal or solving the case. In this genre, it can overcome any lack of action or thrills, as long as we immerse ourselves in the two characters Normally two cops, though there are many examples as well of a cop and a convict, as long as we can engage in the chemistry between the two characters, it will always make for a great individual movie and the buddy cop actioner is one of the best examples of this. So what makes good on-screen chemistry then? Well, some would say the obvious answer is the actor's performances and yes, that can be true for a lot of the time. But really, it is down to how well the characters are written and developed. And even more importantly, that the characters are given enough time within the story to develop that great chemistry together. It's very rare that you can have two lead characters that the story depends on to have great chemistry, but with such short time together. I can only perhaps think of Heat from 1995, starring Al Pacino and Robert De Niro, of course, two of the greatest leading actors of all time, as a great example of on-screen chemistry, even though we have a short amount of scenes with the two lead roles together. Now, another key element to great skin chemistry together is that the characters are opposites or at least different in terms of their personalities. Now, yes, the cliche of opposites attract is very much in a discussion here, but the overall concept is very much true. You just get a far more satisfactory viewing experience in seeing two different personalities clash against one another. Now, they don't necessarily have to be opposites in terms of their character. And there have been many examples where the characters personalities supplement one another but they do have to be different, so that gives you a bit of a contrast, which overall makes the story far more interesting. This is even more important if you have a long-running series that consists of anything from 15 to 20 episodes. If the chemistry between the two characters is interesting and consistent, then it will always be enough to keep you watching and staying with the series for as long as possible. We then look at the idea of having antagonism between the two characters and whether it's necessary or not. I wouldn't say that it is, it can be very interesting to have two characters constantly at each other's throats, especially if you wanted to draw a more personal edge between the two, for example, if there are differences concerning race or gender or sexuality. But I don't think that's something that's a prerequisite. In actual fact, I believe the best relationships in terms of on-screen chemistry that makes them far more organic is if you have the relationship play out over time that doesn't relate to race or sexual orientation or gender. It makes for a far more genuine relationship if the two individuals are treated equally as people and then we see their relationship bond over time throughout the story. Now of course, on-screen chemistry doesn't have to be limited to two characters. You can have just as great chemistry amongst a whole ensemble of characters. And if you can get it right, it can even lead to greater possibilities and results. Now, the biggest example, certainly within the last 10 to 15 years, within all of entertainment of this, is of course The Avengers, which, as part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, really helped change the whole face of entertainment and pop culture. And without question, one of the biggest foundations of the MCU success is indeed the chemistry between a whole multitude of characters. So overall, whilst you'd always want great story and production and writing, 
If all of those elements aren't really firing on all cylinders, the on-screen chemistry between characters can definitely make up for any flaws within storytelling and still make it overall an enjoyable experience and that's very much why on-screen chemistry is very important within the story. So those are my overall thoughts and feelings when looking back on the idea of on-screen chemistry between characters and why it's very important within a story. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think it's important for a relationship between two characters to be special? And do you think that can overcome any flaws within storytelling and the writing? Or do you perhaps feel that it's not as important and that the story and the overall plots are far more important rather than the chemistry between two or multiple characters let me know what you think in the comments below and if you enjoy topics like this and you'd like to see me cover more of them within a the channel drop me any suggestions within the comments or if you have any other movies or television series or topics or any other issues within the entertainment industry that you'd also like to see me provide commentary on let me know in the comments as well and i will see if i can provide coverage for you on that subject matter on the future within the channel Please also hit on like the subscription and notification buttons so I can provide you with more high quality content like this in the future. But that's it for now. Take care of yourselves, stay at safe distances, and I will see you very, very soon.